For a long time, scientists, clinicians, and engineers have been working to find the next generation medical grade adhesive. But current methods so far have been limited because they're either cytotoxic, they're rigid, they don't adhere well to dynamically moving surfaces. So for the most part, surgeons have been left with sutures and staple based techniques. And because of their invasive character, they create tissue damage and they are prone to microbial infection. It can be a poor cosmetic outcome and they are time intensive. So this increases the overall cost. The gel is, is really interesting because it combines some recent advances in hydrogel technology with inspiration from nature. And in this case, we turn to the dusky Aryan slug. When it gets threatened by a predator, they change the composition of their mucus and it becomes extremely adherent to the underlying substrate. And then they analyze the composition of this mucus and they find out it's actually an ionically uh, cross-linked polysaccharide and covalently cross-linked protein. So it actually creates this unique interpenetrating network. We use many of the components within this slug slime as inspiration to engineer materials that behave in a similar way. There is an adhesive layer and then there's a tough gel component that can dissipate the energy. And this gives the unique mechanical properties. By combining these two polymer networks, you're able to achieve much greater deformation. The tough gel that we create is about 90% water. And most of it's water and this material, through its dual network, it's able to um, stretch up to 20 times its initial length which is quite interesting because the slug slime that inspired it um, can also stretch to very high magnitudes of deformation. And that same slug slime is about 95% water. There are three major interactions that are giving this unique adhesion property. So these are um, covalent interactions. Uh, we add in some coupling reagents and do some other surface uh, chemistry modifications to be able to create these um, strong covalent bonds that create adhesion. And ionic interactions. When we think about these materials carrying this net positive charge and that the tissues have a, a net negative charge, we can think about these electrostatic interactions similar to laundry clinging to each other in a dryer after it's been operating. And also physical interpenetration, the physical network formation between the tissue and the adhesive. Which is similar to like reaching and pulling out a telephone cord from a bunch of tangled cords. This bridging polymer interpenetrates into the tissue and gel networks and really forms a lot of entanglements. The uniqueness about this technology is it can actually work in a wet and dynamic environment. You can adhere to surfaces even in the presence of blood. We've even tested this in the case of a beating heart. We can apply um, blood to the tissue surface. We can apply the tough adhesive and it adheres very strongly to the surface. So the first step is to make the tough gel. And we make the tough gel by essentially dissolving alginate in solution. We purify that alginate solution and then we add in um, some polyacrylamide into some syringes, we do syringe mixing steps, and then we can inject the solutions into some molds. We can mold them into any shape that we might be interested in. We can apply our, our adhesive components to it, and we can couple those um, adhesive polymers to the surface of the gel, which we can then apply the composite gel adhesive surface to our wet tissue. We apply compression on the order of one or two minutes, and as that happens, the adhesion energy increases rapidly. By that time, you're already much higher than most commercially available uh, medical grade adhesives. We found that our tough adhesive adheres strongly to skin, cartilage, and arteries. And we also found that it can actually close holes in the heart uh, tissue and it stops bleeding from a lesioned uh, liver tissue. I think that if we think about it, developing a vision for the future of medicine, I think we can think about creating adhesive sutureless interfaces, developing materials that can improve the way that tissues heal without interfering um, with them further is what gets me excited about this work as we continue to develop this technology.